Polly Mackay, thank you so much for joining us here at Fun Forum International. My pleasure. This conference aims to look at the key questions being asked in the industry. So what themes do you expect to be looking at? Well, it's all kicking off this week. Obviously, Greece is going to be front of mind. Lots of questions already we've heard this morning about China. Liquidity, a key issue for fund managers. But also today, Distribution Summit, really thinking about who's buying this stuff, who are the customers and what do we need to be doing better and differently to get our products out to the customers. What does this world need to be doing, what do the asset managers need to be doing to address that and the, and the issues of what challenges there are in terms of distribution? Well, I think they need to rip up the rule book. I mean for a long time retail distribution has really been shoving the same institutional type materials out to investors and all the people I talk to they don't understand things, they want simple language, costs they get really cross about the cost not being transparent enough and they want it to be more engaging so I think we've got to get rid of this attitude that people want to go home at the end of a busy day and sit there for half an hour and listen to a fund manager going on about sort of global markets when all they want is a safe home for their investments where they won't be ripped off in their language. And presumably that's because sort of the digital natives, the next new generation of users have, uh, have had so much access to, to products in other worlds. Exactly. Uh, and much more transparency. That's what they expect to see in this world. Though. It's true. I mean, the problem is it's very hard to talk to people about investments because you can't say, this is what you're buying, this is how much it costs. Well, you can do that bit. Um, and here's what you're going to get. So it's always been a more complicated area. But there's so much lazy thinking out there. And I think it's Certainly fund managers haven't really embraced the digital programme yet. They know they haven't. I think a lot of people are sitting there thinking, I know the direct consumer market's going to grow. At the moment, it's not quite a big enough bit of my book to really worry about, but I think that's going to change over the next few years. The sessions today are looking at exactly that disruptive influence new challenges for asset management in terms of accepting that people are expecting to see these sort of products now. Do you think they are pulling their head out of sand and facing that? I think there's still a bit of an attitude problem in the, in the I said like a headmistress in the industry. But what we heard in that last session was someone saying, well, actually, savings products are good enough for the mass affluent investment managers. Keep your IP for the high net worth. We can't say that because interest rates are so low at the moment. Are we really saying that, that people sitting in their current accounts with banks getting nothing, people in low interest returns, is that all we can really do for people? I don't think we should accept that. There's also something we heard, you know, millennials don't have any money. You know, globally, yes, if you look at it, they don't have as much money as the baby boomers. But there are lots of millennials out there with lots of money who want help. Do you think that this industry will evolve or do you think it will have to change wholesale do you think things will just disappear companies will disappear and something new will will we heard one of those speakers say in 15 years time the top companies won't be the same 30 companies they are now I think people do need to evolve and they do need to change. Um, is it going to happen anytime soon? I'm not sure. But you have got examples sort of globally of, of the huge asset managers out there getting more engaged with the customers. BlackRock and Fidelity are examples who spring to mind. So I think there is progress. But I think the senior people leading these companies haven't yet really taken the consumer question seriously enough and they need to sponsor these programs and get behind it and to bring people in from outside of the industry because so much of the marketing and the products that are developed are made by engineers and boffins who are out of touch with what real people want. You talk about consumer experience there, that's your area of expertise, you've been out and talked to customers, what are they saying to you? Um, they say they're nervous of the stock markets, lots of people say it's like gambling. They don't know, for example, that you can invest, you can start investing with as little in the UK as £25 a month. They think it's something you need loads of money to do. So there's just misinformation out there. And on the cost thing, I mean, we haven't been transparent enough. We produce 80-page documents and the costs are hidden at the back. You've got to be up front and try things with, with visual elements. You can get things across to people succinctly. It just needs a whole shake-up in thinking. In terms of thinking, we've got 400 group funds and distributors here. Do you, do you think this is a unique environment to provide those conversations? I, I think it is. I mean, that, that's why I come here. Um, the CEOs of the global asset managers and the chance to actually sit here and listen to them talk 
say what's going on, also sort of reacting to, to current events. Um, we have someone speaking later on this morning about Greece and what's going on there, so it's good that they've been flexible and said, we've got the world experts here, let's talk about something that's going on now. Um, it, it is unparalleled for that. And hey, let's not beat around the bush. Coming to Monaco without kids for three or four days is pretty nice too. Definitely not boring money. No. no. <laughs> Thank you very much, Alan. Thank you.